I got Are you, you excited yet? Yeah, I am excited. Look at that. This I'm kind of bouncing. Excited. I'm ready to go. And right. we're back. Here I am, Fly Navarro with Fly Zone Fishing. I'm here with Don Dale. Hey, guys. What's happening? D-Day. Severe bleeding, non-extremities. Yes, no sir. No arms, no legs. You're talking about your torso, your neck. Pelvis, your... buttocks, anywhere where a tourniquet, uh, the bleeding's not amendable with a tourniquet. What do you do? Oh, my gosh. Direct pressure, left side of your neck. Left side of your neck. You're still conscious. I need you to put pressure up here. Direct that pressure right where that bleeder is. I'm gonna grab a hemostatic gauze if I have it. These are nice and expensive, but they really work well, okay? They have product in the gauze that assist in bleeding control, okay? And this is kind of stiff. A lot of times people look at this when they take it out of the package, they go, oh my gosh, it's expired. It's not expired, it's the way it's supposed to be. So the first thing I do is I gotta find where the seat of the bleeder is. And I'm getting a bunch, we call it a Powerball, up in my hand right here. Whoops, see, it's going all over you, but you're dying, so you don't care. So I start, remove your hand, right to the seat of the bleeder, I start packing this in there, okay? And as I'm packing this, I'm, I'm maintaining direct pressure on this the whole time. I should get bleeding controlled if I am right over the bleeder, okay? I pile the rest of it up here the best that I can. Fly, hold this, hold this. Give me a lot of pressure on there, okay? You got pressure on that? If you're not conscious, I'm on my own, right? I'm barely a conscious okay, right now. Okay, well you better hang on to that or you're gonna die. I'm hanging on, okay. man, I'm hanging we on. We got a pressure dressing here. These work excellent, emergency trauma dressing. Okay, remove your hand. Right now, the big important thing is some people we know we'd like to wrap it around here, but that doesn't work very well. We need to go under the arm, Stretch this out, stretch this out. That's why I'm behind you, Fly, because I'd be right in your face right now. We need to come right across, maintaining pressure on this the whole time. As you can see, this is a really difficult place to apply pressure. That's a lot of pressure. That's a lot of pressure, but guess what? If you're talking, you're breathing, right? A amen. And you got another blood vessel going right around the other side of your neck, so you're getting blood flow to that huge brain of yours. Feel that right there. That's hard as a rock. Right, so you can still breathe, you still got blood flow to your brain, and we've got bleeding controlled on a junctional bleed, is what we call something that's not on the arm or leg. What's nice about this is if it happened up under the arm here, uh -huh. we would do the same thing. Pack up under the arm, I really bulky, that. and just do the same thing, go around your neck, and that would give us all that pressure there and just bring your arm down. You feel that pressure? Man, I'll tell you what, I feel more than pressure. I feel like my blood's clotting. Guys, thanks for joining us here in the fly zone. Bleeding control. <laughs>